good to be with you again. I sure do miss seeing your faces and having you around. We'll be together soon, huh? Well, I want to talk about school. Oh, no. Yeah. When you go to school, you've probably been learning how to make paragraphs, right? And sentence structures. Well, what's in a sentence structure? Normally, the teacher tells you about the five W's. What are the five W's? Who, what, when, where, and why. When you put those together, you can make a pretty good story, right? And a good and have a good conversation. Well, with the with the five W's. We can have a good conversation and keep our mind focused when we pray with God. We should be in communication with God on a regular basis. And how do we do that? Well, we need to take it serious. When we pray, we should be asking ourselves, five questions. Who shall we pray to? What things shall we pray? When shall we pray? Why shall we pray? And where should we pray? When we put all of those things together, our prayer life has focus. So, who do we pray to? Well, first off, who should be praying? All of us, every one of us should be praying. But who should we be praying to? Our Heavenly Father, right God. Yes, when we pray, our focus should be on God. But sometimes some of us, if you hear, thank you, dear Jesus, help me, Holy Spirit. What about them? Remember, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, three in one. They're all the same, and they need to be recognized when we pray. That's how we honor our Heavenly Father. It says in John 16, 23 through 24, in the day you will no longer ask me anything. I tell you the truth. My Father will give you whatever you ask in my name. Until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete. Jesus has invited us to pray directly to God. And through his death on the cross, he has made it it made it possible for us to pray to God directly. God want, delights in our simplest talkings and nor, in, in Him normally throughout our day as you would talk to a friend because why? God is our friend. What do we pray for? We need to pray for anything and everything that concerns us. Nothing that concerns us is too small or too big for God to handle. The Lord is loving enough to help us with our smallest problems and powerful enough to help us deal with our greatest challenges. In the scripture, there are some things to help us when we pray. One, it tells us we should pray for, for salvation for others. We want our friends and family members to go to heaven with us, right? And how do we, they get to heaven? By us telling them about Jesus dying on the cross for their sins so that we can make it to heaven, right? We should offer up prayers of praises and thanksgiving. When we're happy, God wants to hear that we're happy. He wants to know what's, what makes us joyful. 
so he can be happy with us. We are to invite, we are to make our, uh, our prayers to God. Our, we are invited to make prayers of, of help and our request to God. He wants to know what we need help with. He wants to hear our requests. We are to come to the Lord in prayer on behalf of others. Other people, it is an honor to go to God on behalf of a friend who's asking for prayer. Where two or more are gathered, so is God, so are we with God. We are to uh, tell God of our sins. Oh, we don't want to admit that we've done anything wrong, do we? But uh, we are to come tell God what we've done wrong so he can forgive us. We are to pray about what we are do going through through our day, no matter if whether it be good or bad. Tell God what we are doing so he can delight with us or help us through our situations. We must pray for deliverance to be set free from our enemy. Who is our enemy? The devil. He likes to come at us on all sides and tell us it's okay to do the wrong things. And we need to ask God to take us away from the situation and tell the devil to be gone. As we think about these things, about the different people in our lives and the situations that we're going through, whether it be for prayer or for in praises. Sometimes it makes it a little overwhelming to think about what we're to be praying for first. Now, even, the, even how they get started in our prayer. Well, it says in Romans 8.26, it tells us that the Holy Spirit himself is there to help us. Ask for his help and you will find praying comes much easier. It says, likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. So the Holy Spirit is there to help us through our situations. If we don't know what to pray for, call on the Holy Spirit. He will guide us through the situation for our prayer. When do we pray? Well, there's people out there that only pray when they're in trouble or they need something. Others, just for their food. Others only pray in the morning Others only pray at night. Uh, and then, but God wants to hear from us a little bit more often than that. He wants to know what's going on in our lives throughout the day. And he commands it in 1 Thessalonians 5.17. He tells us that we are to pray without ceasing, without stopping. Oh... Um, does that mean that I have to be on my hands and knees to God 24 seven? No, we have to go to school. We have to make our beds. God knows this stuff, right? But he wants us to be in communication with him. Like when we're walking over to a friend's house, just tell God, thank you for the walk. When we're playing with others, just say, thank you for my friends. Or help me, dear Jesus, for whatever situation that you're going through. Why should we pray? Well, for one thing, Jesus sits on the right hand of God and just is waiting to intercede for us. Why do you think he's doing that? Well, it says in Hebrews 4, 14, 16, Therefore, since I have a great high priest who has gone through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, 
let us hold firmly to the faith uh, we profess. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who's been tempt, tempted in every way, just as we are, yet has not sinned. Let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Jesus knows what we're going through. He's been there. He knows what it's, what it's like to cry. He knows what it's like to be in pain. Because he took those pain. He took pain for us when he was on the cross. He took our sins. And he did all of that for us. And he can tell God exactly what he went through for us. Where should we pray? Well, in Matthew 6, 5 through 6, it says, When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, who they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what you have done in secret, will reward you. Now, this doesn't mean that we should always pray in private. There's many men in the Bible, and even Jesus himself prayed in public situations frequently. But what he's telling us that we shouldn't just pray to say, hey, look at me, look how great I am. I can pray. I can say this and that to God, and he answers my prayers. No. When we pray, it should be to God coming from our hearts. It should be meaningful whether we're play, praying with others or just praying by ourselves. Let our words come, come from our heart to God's ears. Now, let's see what it says in James 5, 13, 20 about prayer. As is any one of you in trouble, we should pray. Is any, anyone happy? Let him sing songs of praise. Is any one of you sick? He should call the elders of the church to pray over him and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well and the Lord will raise him up. If he had sinned, he will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of, righteous, of a righteous man is powerful and effective. Elijah was a man just like us. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain and it didn't rain in the land for three and a half years. And then again he prayed, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth produced its crops. My brothers, if one of you shall wander from the truth, and someone shall bring him back, remember this, whoever turns a sinner from the error of his ways will save him from death and cover over the multitudes of sins. Now, what does the W's have to say about that? Well, let's see. Who and to whom shall we pray? Well, to whom is to our Heavenly Father, our Almighty God? Who shall pray? Anyone. These verses tell us that anyone who needs God's help or anyone who has received God's blessing should pray. 
and that is all of us. What shall we pray about? Anything. We should pray for healing when we are sick and for forgiveness from our sins. We should offer prayers of thanks when we are happy and ask for help in times of trouble. Then when shall we pray? Anytime. If we sh shall pray, then when we are in trouble, when we are sick, when we are happy, when we have sinned. It's just about any time, isn't it, that we should pray. Where shall we pray? Anywhere. These verses don't come right out and tell us where we should pray, but I figured it out. If, if we should pray at any time we need God's help, then I guess it just makes sense that we should pray anywhere we are. Because where we are, God is too. Why should we pray? Because God answers prayer. These verses tell us that prayer is powerful and effective. And that, we will, that if we all pray, God will hear our prayers, heal the sick, and forgive our sins. The W's of prayer are who almighty god any one of us what anything when anytime where anywhere why because god answers prayer look we all just got a's anyone anything anytime anywhere answers to prayer Thank you, dear Jesus. Let us pray. Dear Father, thank you for hearing and answering our prayers. Help us to remember that you, what you want us to, help us to remember that you want to heal us when we are sick. Help us when we are in trouble. Forgive us when we sin. Rejoice with us when we are happy. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.